Hey everybody, it's the Dark Comic Nerd, and if you notice, I got some different scenery behind me. I am finally sitting on my couch. Um, it's a love seat couch that I got as a gift when I moved into my house, so it's not very deep. And so the thing is, I'm not really. I wish it was plush like my old leather couch that I had at my old house, um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, considering what it is. And so the thing is, is that I'm going to be trying to use this more often. I'm going to try to switch back and forth between my recliner and here um, just to be a little more comfortable, a little more versatility, a little more background uh, when doing videos. So um, if it looks like the background is different and uh, usually I have the light behind me over there from the stove, um, that would be why you see the curtains and everything. And then um, maybe when we don't have direct sunlight behind me, um we'll pop those curtains open from time to time and do some of the videos over here and then we'll get us some more light um the only reason i'm on is um we're gonna kind of do a countdown to nook leaving um i got some more uh, uh new horizon gifts um before he um, gets ready to take off at two in the morning which is just a few minutes away um we're gonna see if sometimes when they take off they leave a special message. Um, they have like a small, like almost like a cutscene. Uh, if not, we're at least going to check out and see what happens after the fishing tournament if he sticks around. Because there's a lot of opportunities usually for them to stick around. In the meantime, guys, um, check it out. I'm going to show you. Uh, there's where I ended at 23,435.9 centimeters. And I went way beyond, guys. And kept getting gifts and um, did pretty good. Um, you can see, guys, many other people um, did way better than me. Um, probably a lot of them have been playing the game longer. I always figure people that have a high amount like this, most likely because of the limits on the game, I doubt they're normal fishing. My bet would be they're using tickets. And they're getting them um, through leaf tickets. And doing the net casting thing. And that's how they're really doing it. Um, some of these other people probably were more like me where they just did it normally. Um, here's how I compare up to my um, friend Debbie. She um, got just a little bit more than I did. And the thing is, is that I probably could have put more effort into it. But after you guys saw me do the last video, I was, I was done. Um, I've been trying to putting more time into spamming some of the stuff from my um, Fate Grand Order game and just trying to do that. Um, so like I said, guys, we're going to see what happens. We're going to count down the end here. We're going to kick around. There's not much else going on. Um, we're just going to wait and see if anything happens. And uh, if nothing happens, this will be a very short and unusual video that I'll be posting up. At the same time, guys... Tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day for me, so that's the other reason I'm getting on, is tell everybody what my plans are. Um, plans are, is I'm planning on uh, going to bed extremely early tomorrow night, and getting up at about, maybe about 2 in the morning, give or take, and then just a few hours later, I'm going to be um, heading down to my local Walmart, um, because there's going to be massive crowds. Um, probably not only to get the Animal Crossing game, I do anticipate a few of those people, and I'll explain why in a minute, but a lot of very early morning shoppers who desperately want their toilet paper and their um, Purell and all their other uh, amenities that are hard to come by in the climate that we're in right now with, with society. Um, now, uh, my reason for getting there so darn early is to make sure that I can hopefully get a good spot in this line in case ooh, three bites always means something good guys yippee snow crab um the thing is is that uh the game has been supremely overhyped i'm not saying it didn't deserve it but it's been very overhyped because of the cv thing and the health uh crisis we're we're having and um, the thing is, is that because of that people are going to want an avenue to escape and it already nintendo already you know, they did it intentionally, guys. They made us wait on purpose to try to get the hype. Oop. Here we go, guys. And then I'm going to talk a little bit more about my plans uh, with Chunky Jeffrey and his wife and stuff. So, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about some other things that are coming up tomorrow night that are going to be different. 
All right, let's see what happens. Most likely nothing, by the way, guys, but in case something did happen, I wanted to be here. Well, there we go. We got our last leave ticket for the New Horizons thing. There we go. Um, ooh. I want to do that. If it didn't take me to an external link, guys, I'd do it right now. I am going to forego that, but that is cool. If you guys have Pocket Camp, get on and take the survey. I think whatever we might talk about in the survey might actually help out the New Horizons game. That would be awesome. Oh, excuse me. I just had a little bit of cereal as a midnight snack, so... Another snow crab, wow. They're not easy for me to come across. Though I don't usually do as much fishing, I'm just kind of killing time. Uh, one of my favorite characters with the old Mario shirt. I thought I saw a shadow, I was wrong. Wow, Nook, oh, nope, there he is. Let's, let's talk to him real quick and see if anything comes up. Hey, he's going to take my, my fishing rod. So, I wasn't paying attention, but... Yeah, there we go. We're back to our... Uh, I wasn't paying attention the last few minutes, but I think we, um, we're we still fishing with the old with the, the new rod he gave us that is going to be one of those ones we can build ourselves in the um, new game. So let's see if he's got anything else to say. Yeah, he already did that. Let's see if the kiddos have anything to say. Probably going to be about it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything way over the top or anything like that. Now, if anybody's never well, I'll stored indefinitely, there's my gold fishing trophy, guys. Gotta love that. That was worth coming on to show you guys. So what's going to be the newest um, challenges? Bug stuff because of the old island excursion bug thing that's going on. Which I don't know if that's... It says island. But I don't know if that has anything to do with New Horizons or not because it doesn't really specify, to be honest. So, huh, pardon me, guys. Um, let us check a few things, guys, while we're here. Ooh, who is the hippopotamus? Ooh, I was right, guys. We got a new character. Oh, no, there she is, Biddy. Okay, I haven't seen her in a while. So, I forgot I even had her around. Let's do that. A lot of these characters, you have to get them up to level 7 for them to want to come visit your campground. So, I have, um, well, actually, I don't. I only have a couple hours. At like, 4 in the morning. No, 5 in the morning now. They're going to reset, so you know, I won't be able to do it later, but I don't really care. Um, so, there we go, guys. End of the fishing tournament. That was a fun little time. Um, going back to what I was talking about, guys, because this is going to be my potentially last video. Before probably it is gonna be my last video for new by New Horizons. Now, me, Chunky, and his wife Debbie are all assuming we'll be able to get our games early Friday morning. I am the gopher. I am the guy that has to go to the local Walmart and be prepared to wait and go in and get the game. And I have a slight advantage because I happen to know what the from having friends that work there, I happen to know what the schedule is for the game being put out. And let's just say, folks, it's not being put out overnight. No, it's not. Sometimes that used to happen, but not no more. Um, there's reasons. Um, at, the, at the same time, there were supposed to be midnight releases. Guess what? GameStop canceled all their midnight releases. So any of you that were planning on going out and getting a midnight release like I originally was going to do... Ha ha ha, screwed, because on top of that, I'm betting the hours for GameStop didn't change, so now everybody's going to be having to go in at 10 in the morning if you pre-ordered your Animal Crossing game. You're going to have to wait till 10 a.m. to go in and get your games. Now, the bull moose near me and Chunky Jeffrey were supposed to be doing it. I have a hunch they'll be hosed too, but we don't know, because I believe because of restrictions of gatherings of 10 or more people, I believe that you cannot do this. This is this is not an order, but this is a very highly, highly 
recommended suggestion that they're making in my state of the state of Maine and nationally right now. So the thing is, is that, you know, I don't believe that there's going to be any midnight releases of this game. Now, I have a whole bunch of friends that are hyping that they got the digital download already. Ooh, good for you. I had a friend that was going to put his game in New Zealand just so he could start playing it tonight. You know what, guys? I'm not that desperate. Chunky Jeffrey has been a little manic because he's, you know, not able to get his Animal Crossing, you know, early. But the thing is, is that me and his wife, Debbie, are holding our own. Now, she's prepared to download it digitally if we can't get any copies. I'm not anticipating that we won't get our copies, but I am anticipating that it might be problematic to get it at the local Walmart because of what's going on with the midnight releases. For starters, there's a good chance that if we can't get our, um, if or excuse me, if other folks can't get their games um, at midnight, they might go to Walmart and try to get a game there and then go back and cancel their pre-order with GameStop. I've seen people do it before. It's a possibility if people want to get their game badly enough. And like I said, the way they hyped this, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm not expecting a problem. I'm expecting to be able to wait with the crowd of people that want to get toilet paper and then go up and get my game. I have a couple advantages because I know people well there and I'm able to go and um, uh, ask somebody. I mean, most people are going to go up and go, oh, it's not there. I'm going to have to wait for it because it's not going to be behind the glass. It's not. I happen to know what's going to happen. So I know what to do so that I can get my three copies and be done with it. Now, um, one of the other possibilities is, though, is that because they're probably not going to do a midnight release at Bull Moose, if we don't get our copies of our games at Walmart early in the morning, there's plenty of time to formulate a backup plan before other establishments open. Like, we can go down and wait in Bull Moose for when they open and try to get our own copies. Because I can't imagine they're selling out all their copies at their midnight release and stuff. They probably probably ordered way overboard um, after everything happened. I know Walmart got 44 copies in, guys. For day one release, that's pretty impressive. I mean, that's like Pokemon level impressive. Um, so, that's what we're looking at, guys. I'm the gopher. I'm the guy that's got to wait early in the morning because I volunteered. I can afford to do all this stuff. I have a way of getting down there. Um, and uh, the thing is, is that we'll only involve Chunky and his wife if um, we have to go with plan B or C or D. Because um, there's other places we can go. Each one is going to be its own plan. But... Uh, Walmart is going to be our number one place we're going to hit. We're going to try to get all three copies. I'm going to go down during the chaos of people. I've heard horrible things about people going bonkers with um, having to um, get their toilet paper and all this stuff. And people just go out early in the morning. And I've heard this is a normal thing. Pardon me, guys. I'm shutting down my PlayStation because as soon as I'm done with you guys, I'm going to go take a bath. Um, we want to put it in rest mode. There we go. Perfect. So I was watching some Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V. I'm getting really long on the third and last season. And I wanted to see this so badly. I'm getting close to the major, um, uh, the major, pardon the pun, arc of the storyline where the big bad bad guy, like they were just talking about, um, the whole story behind, you know, uh, why some of the characters look the same and about the dimensions and all this stuff. If you've ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, it's really cool. They're finally doing the revelations about certain things, about the history of the actual um, story, the history of the storyline that they've been plugging since season one, which is many, many episodes ago. Um, I mean, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series lasted many, many, many seasons, but a lot of the other, your, your other Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff, you don't see them last too, too, too many seasons. This one really plugged it out, so I'm impressed. Um, though, come to think of it, maybe it's because they list them differently on the streaming services, so, yeah, maybe they do usually have a lot of seasons. What do I know? Um, but as far as the Animal Crossing game, guys, that's our plan for our New Horizon stuff. 
I'm getting up early, early in the morning around 2, getting ready, leaving at 4.30, getting down there at 5, waiting an hour. Now, it's going to be pouring rain. That's going to give me a slight advantage because people are not probably going to want to stand in line in the pouring rain. I mean, they're crazy for their toilet paper, but I don't think they're that crazy. I believe a lot of people are going to do like me. You sit in your car until it's almost time to open. And it's going to be interesting. It's going to be like trying to rush in there on Black Friday. Now, here's the, the secondary problem. The good news about Walmart is the Walmart I have is the biggest one in New England. It's huge, which means you can get in there and you can space yourself out pretty good and you don't have to worry about this whole, you know, too many people in one area thing. This whole social distancing thing works great at Walmart, um, except when you're standing in line, which I have another lucky fortune. The one closest to me is in an area that only has two confirmed cases of the little problem thing going around, which is the thing that has no name because we're not allowed to say it. Um don't want to take a chance that i i don't i'm not monetized but i want to take a chance that youtube might send a bot program to delete this video because i said the word that should not be named um so the cv thing is causing everybody in a tizzy and um it's going to be interesting getting there this is going to be thursday night into early morning friday and then the goal is as i stay up when i get to my friend's house as long as i can playing my animal crossing game the bad news I'm probably going to be, when, I don't know how long I'm going to make it unless I get really, I usually get really juiced up, very jazzed on a new game, and the adrenaline keeps me going for a while, but when it finally fizzles, I am going to crash, and the thing is, I don't usually crash at my friend's house, he's not really set up for that, but I might have to. I might have to take over his couch. I might just have to. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, take a little nap. I haven't decided yet. I'm probably just going to lean back in this recliner and pass out. I wouldn't surprise me. Because if I'm tired, tired, I'm not going to be able to make it home driving. And it's not going to be a good idea. Um, the weather's supposed to improve a bit up here on Friday. But I can tell you one thing. If it's raining, that's going to make me even more tired. Um, I'm happy to report, guys, that, like I said, I am um, okay health-wise to my knowledge right now, and I am definitely enjoying my vacation. I'm on day, what it would be, this would be officially, um, we're into Thursday now, um, so this would be day six, um, and uh, there's still um, the rest of today, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, I got plenty of time to still get some stuff done. I'm sorry I haven't done as many PlayStation 4 videos. I've been dealing with this whole CV thing and a lot of real life stuff, guys. Um, for example, my own dad, um, he is under one of those um, watch type lists because he had parts of his lung removed a couple of years ago. And so, um, he actually, if he gets a respiratory problem, it's going to be very bad for him. So my own mother has basically quarantined him at home, lets him go outside, but makes sure that nobody can potentially come in and give it to him. And my folks are, um, in their late sixties. Um, so it's not good. We just lost my grandparents, um, uh, last year so you know i don't want to see anything happen to my own relatives my aunt and uncle have decided to stay down in florida by the looks of it because um traveling is just going to be so chaotic now they're thinking about staying down in the condo they were in for another month um so they're thinking about doing that and uh, it's, it's just there's so much going on so much going on uh any family stuff has been canceled pretty much um our family's small enough to definitely not be really more than 10 people but um a lot of chaos going on a lot of chaos um uh i gotta tell you guys i think we should be all happy this happened when it was in the late winter um because it gave us the opportunity um to not really have a lot of people out and about and on vacations while this was happening so that people aren't stuck somewhere um well there's a lockdown and there's a quarantine so i gotta tell you i think we locked out on that one but uh, going back to stuff, because like I said, folks, that's what's happening in real life over here with me and my family. Uh, but going back to the Animal Crossing game, um, the plan, like I said, guys, sleep later. Like, I'm going to go to sleep now. I'm going to be up for a couple hours. I'm going to pack it in like 8 p.m. This is already Thursday now for me, so 8 p.m. tonight. 
Then I'm going to sleep a good couple hours. Believe it or not, 8 p.m. is fine because six hours is more than adequate for me. Um, if I decide that I can and do want to sleep a little bit more, I can pack it in even sooner than that. Um, as long as I'm up so that I can be out of this house at 4.30, I'm fine. Now, getting to work at, you know, getting to, um, uh, what am I thinking of? Not getting to work. Getting to Walmart. Sorry, they all begin with W's. It makes it confusing. I'm thinking of my, I'm thinking of my job. Okay, so getting to Walmart, um, means that I actually, um, don't really have to worry about getting there super early, but I choose to, to see what I'm in for. I'm just going to sit around and do nothing except maybe put around on this or do something else for a while. I want to really see what I'm in for. And then if I think it's going to get bad and there's going to be like a Black Friday type line, then I'll see what happens. Everybody shouldn't be standing in line, though, because of what's going on. They're trying to tell us social distancing and people are going to be crowded together in a little line to get toilet paper. Do we not see the irony of this? Come on. But that's another whole thing. If I we get our game successfully i plan on doing a unboxing while i'm at chunky jeffrey's that morning so that's my next plan and then we're going to talk a little bit about stuff and might even be able to show you guys what i'm doing on my switch with my tablet so i don't know what they're going to do but that's my plan um that video will be brief though because i'm really going to want to dive into my game of course um but like i said if everything goes according to plan that is the plan and I might even do a video as we're doing everything. I might do a video while I'm at Walmart waiting. I might do a video, another one after I get my games. Uh, you know, if we have to, if me and Chunky have to go riding up to who knows where to get a copy of a game up in the next town over, uh, you know, we might do a video on that. So we might have a couple videos on our our trek to get our animal crossing games who knows but um we're hoping everything goes well i'm hoping i won't have to fight with anybody i just expect that the midnight releases being canceled will affect things i also think that potentially a lot of people are going to leave it alone going to their walmart they're not going to want to get up that early in the morning only the people that want to go in for toilet paper are going to get up that early in the morning I want to get some other stuff while I'm down there, but that's a whole nother story. So that's the plan, guys. And we got, um, what, 24 hours before it's, almost 24 hours from now before it's enacted. So, but uh, I, I hope you guys weren't too bored by uh, me talking about some extra stuff. I wanted to uh, kind of fill in some more time in this video. And at the same time, I wanted to let you guys know what's going on with me personally at my home front. And, um what the plan is going forward with animal crossing as far as what happens with my pocket camp we'll have to wait and see we'll just have to wait and see all righty everybody i hope you have a wonderful evening and hopefully the next time i see you um doing an animal crossing video because we could have any kind of number of videos tomorrow will be when i've got my new horizons game all right everybody have a nice evening and stay safe stay healthy